Hi friends, I'm Precious and you're welcome to this episode of Precious Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Cameroonian banana cake, which is one of the snacks I ate while growing up. It is made out of overripe bananas. It's a great way to use your overripe bananas. It is so delicious. Perfect for snacking, perfect for breakfast, perfect for parties, perfect to just have at home. And you can make it all in one bowl. So let's go over the ingredients and then we can start cooking. You need two large eggs, two to three overripe bananas. The bananas have to be overripe and have dark spots all over their skin. If they are not overripe, they are not going to yield the best flavor. So it's best to use bananas that are overripe. You need a cup and a half of flour. You need a quarter cup of oil. You need half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and a quarter cup of sugar. That's all you need. The very first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using degrees Celsius, that will be 180 degrees Celsius. Then you're going to prepare your pan. I have my 12 cup um, muffin pan here. So I'm going to line this with my cupcake liners. I'm still using the cupcake liners I bought at Christmas. So they have like Christmas trees and all. Who cares? <laughs> okay. So if you don't have cupcake liners like I do, just um, grease the cups with oil. And also you could make this banana cake in a large round baking pan. A 9 inch pan will be great. So you know it doesn't really have to be cupcakes but this is the way I grew up eating banana cake. We will buy it from Hawkers in the market. They always had them like in... The form of cupcakes so so delicious so i just wanted to recreate that memory so i'm going to line up everything and i'll keep this aside then we can mix our cake batter so guys to start off i'm just going to blend my bananas and you really don't have to blend these bananas you could just put them in a bowl and mash with a fork i like blending them because oh, i'm using the knife to cut the bananas now <laughs> Because it's an easy way, you know, to to just mash them up. You know, if I'm cooking with my kids, I'll let them mash them with a fork for me. So I'm just going to put this into my blender. You can see how ripe and it even has like these mushy spots. This is perfect. And I'm using three bananas here just because they are really small. If they were like big, I'll use two. So that's why I say two to three bananas. Really depends on the size of your bananas. Okay. Then to this, I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of water. So I've added in a quarter cup of water to the banana. Then I'm just going to cover this and blend. And it doesn't have to be a very smooth blend, you know, it should still be textured. So that is fine. Clean out that banana because <laughs> we don't want to lose anything, right? Okay, to our mashed banana, I'm going to add in the eggs. Then I'm going to add in the oil. And I'm going to just whisk these together just want to combine you don't want to over mix it that is perfect keep this on the side then i'm going to add in all the dry ingredients very easy right you're just adding wet ingredients and dry ingredients so the sugar the flour the baking powder the baking soda, 
our nutmeg and a nice pinch of salt then I'm just going to use my spatula to fold this in gently until combined that is looking perfect so right now I'm going to bring our our prepared baking pan then I'm going to use an ice cream scoop you could just use a spoon but this makes it really easy for me to scoop the butter into the cups and I'm going to try to get them as even as possible so they are about the same size So you fill them to about two thirds. All filled up. So I'm going to let these bake in the preheated oven for about 20 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. I inserted my toothpick into one of the cakes and they are perfect. These are actually like muffins in the Western world, but in Cameroon, these are cakes. So mm. I'm just going to let them cool and then we can taste. These babies have cooled down for about five to ten minutes. I'm just getting impatient because I really want to go in there and try one. It smells like banana heaven in years. Smells so good. One of the reasons why I love baking is because of the smell that fills my house. Uh, now, as I open it, I can see how soft it is on the inside. Mm. And they, they are just like these little dots from the banana, which is very, um, very typical <laughs> of Cameroonian banana cake. I'm just going to bite it. Mmm. Mmm. They are sweet, they are so good, the banana flavor really really stands out. All I need right now is a cup of tea. Mm. Mm. So good you guys. I hope you take some time and make this so easy to make and so delicious. Remember you can also make this in a regular baking pan. You could use a pan like this if you want like one cake. Use the same recipe and bake in a big pan. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me. For the full recipe, go to my blog preciouscore.com. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when I put up a new video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.